What's up guys? Uh, it's me and today uh, Today's video is going to be the story of Kuno Kun San Kuno Kun um, Overall uh, this won't be an entirely long one but nonetheless uh, Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just you know the story and it's basically just about how uh, How he's I guess not in a bad way or anything, but how he's impacted my life, uh, been there, etc. But anyways, um, me and Kuno met up on Quiz Up many, many years ago, 2015, 2016, one of those years. And, uh, I can easily say, undoubtedly, that Kuno is the probably best thing to come out of, uh, to come out of Quiz Up since Chocolate. And I'm using that as a joke, but I mean, yeah, you either like it or you don't, right? Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we met on Quiz Up, and uh, I had a pretty renowned respect for Kuno because he was considered one of the best players. Uh, and I was coming back from a break when I was hearing all this stuff because I used to think that I was a really, really good player. And then to hear that, you know, Kuno's like, you know, like an amazing player. I had, you know, I was asking around and all that. I was like, all right, what's up with this? How, uh, what's making this guy, you know, so good and all that kind of stuff. And um, he has numerous awards, dude. He has nu numerous accolades. That unfortunately, he cannot show off unless he uh, took screenshots of them or something like that. But he had many, many numerous titles. And uh, he was like top of the top in the world, I think, in October of 2016 or whatever. I don't remember the exact month or year, but I do believe he hit top. And um, it was a really impressive feat because there was so many cheaters back then, and it was not uh, it was it wasn't really an easy time back then uh, during the times we were playing. Um, he also there is this one. Uh, renowned moment that he has that uh, I don't remember the exact details but he did a tournament with chocolate and I don't think chocolate could be there or he was eliminated or something like that and uh, Kuno went on to win that tournament after like a hundred and something matches with uh, I think Ivan or something along the lines of that um, he, uh, which is really impressive because, uh, Ivan was, like, considered, like, a no-life at the game, and I knew that, <laughs> I was like, dude, he's still fucking around and he's still doing this shit, but, um, nonetheless, um, yeah, we met on Quiz Up, and it was a really cool game overall, uh, I really liked the game, and, um, why am I saying I really like the game? I really like that I met him from the game, is what I'm trying to say. And, uh... Yeah, um, eventually we started doing other things. Like PUBG Mobile, and we have videos on the YouTube channel. Um... Uh, from when I was a squeaker, <laughs> and uh, I, he doesn't talk in the videos, but he does do like side commentary uh, in the chat. If y'all ever want to check those out, um, we were just really dumb and young, essentially. But uh, yeah, um, nonetheless, uh, those were really good times. Uh, I believe we were playing the first time we played was during season four, I believe, which was uh, one of. Uh, the times that I enjoyed the most with the game and I think that there's also a little bit of when we were playing on the Chinese servers and the reason why we were playing on the Chinese servers one time was because uh, they had a map that the global version did not have so we did do that a lot um, really fun times and uh, I don't know, we, ne we never played together in a tournament, but it was mostly on my end, because I just never did tournaments, right? Like, I was not the type of person to just do tournaments. That's why I wasn't really known or anything like that, I think, in Quiz Up, even though, like, uh, I mean, maybe I was known, I guess I shouldn't say that, but I had so many different names in the game that, uh, like, and no one would really know me by one name, I think. But anyways, um... Also on Quiz Up, he did find uh, the love of his life, and 
to whom I believe that he will one day uh, marry, which is kind of crazy because who would, in, in what world do you generally think that uh, that is something that would happen? Just, you know, this random quiz app, meeting someone across the world and all that, and uh, falling in love, dude, and then the relationship lasting for like 50 years. That's like impressive and crazy, and uh, it's respectable, I would say. I would say it's respectable. Um, there was one moment in, uh, in time where we did not talk for uh, a whole year. And um, I would say that it's mostly on my end. And I was going to message him on the one year anniversary of the time that we did it. But he ended up somehow fucking knowing, dude. I don't know how he knew, dude. But he knew how to he knew to message me like a week before the one year we haven't talked to me like hey man and we just talked and all that stuff and we caught up but I was just like god damn dude he ousted me by a week <laughs> um but anyways uh I would say that if it wasn't for Kuno uh I would have quit quiz up a long time ago and quite honestly if it wasn't for him convincing me to uh play quiz up uh at the time that he did, then we might not have actually became friends. We might have, uh, we might have just never talked afterwards, and it would just be uh, Mr. Magoo and Henry in a world without Kuno. So, um, I guess in a sense, I have to really thank Kuno for, uh, for uh, you know, telling me to keep playing, dude. <laughs> Dead ass. Uh, and it's crazy how that works, but yeah, um, I'm thankful for it. Uh, two years, I believe it was in, I want to say we met in 2015, because I believe I posted it in 2017, is, uh, when I uploaded our two-year anniversary picture of being friends, um, and I think it was around the same time that the anime was actually coming to an end, but it was a picture of this childhood, uh, Naruto, Sasuke, I think, doing the unison sign, I think? I'm not too sure. They might have just been doing like a thumbs up or some shit too. I don't really remember. But um, yeah, uh, two year anniversary. I made sure to post about that because um, I knew that Kuno would be the uh, best friend that I've made on Quiz Up, undoubtedly. Um, like there's just no one else that. That, I mean, of course, chocolate, you know, chocolate's the only other person. Kuno and chocolate are the only two people I talk to from Quizza. And I love my good old chocolate a lot, man. But uh, this is about Kuno, not chocolate. <laughs> um, anyways. Um, uh, yeah, so this year in streaming, uh, we also did Genshin Impact. Um, and I only really did it because of Kuno, honestly. But nonetheless, I'm really glad that he showed me the game. Um, I don't think that Genshin was really a bad game, and I've explained this to him. But I really just think that, uh... I really just think that, uh, It has an identity crisis, and I know he's playing other games and all that kind of stuff. It's not what about what who's playing what or whatever, but, um... Like, I enjoyed how big the game was. A uh, very good game, I would say. In terms of music and graphics, it's just... The uh, the fact that it's a mobile game also is, I think, what kills it. Because you can play it on mobile. And that's be you can tell that I think it was designed for mobile because of the loot boxes and all that kind of stuff. There has to be better ways to... You should be able to earn premium currency way easier than how they have it. I don't know. Can't believe I didn't get that kid. I blew up put the whole clip in the dude. And then I, oh my god. <laughs> wow. Anyways. Um, we did, I think we did do a little bit PUBG on stream, I think. Um, we might not have done it on stream, but I do believe we did play PUBG, uh, this year. Which is really cool. Uh, I enjoy PUBG. I enjoy the PC version, but I understand why, uh, it might not be convenient. For sure. <laughs> Um, he also showed me Naruto Mobile. Uh, that was my favorite fucking mobile game ever, dude. But it's unfortunate they wouldn't let me spend money on it, because that's all I wanted to do was spend money on it. 
But anyways, um, uh, let's go around this way. <laughs> um, yeah, they quit letting me spend money, but even though I spent a lot of money on it, I don't regret it at all. A uh, really fun game for the time that I played it. I don't even play it anymore. I've spent uh, that's like literally at least five hundred dollars lost, I'm sure. But it is what it is. And uh, he did show me the One Piece game too. Uh, he's recommended some good anime to anime to me this year. Uh, Mob Psycho um, and uh, what well, Attack on Titan. Even though that. Uh, we're waiting for the last part of it to come out. Um, he did recommend One Piece to me. And One Piece is good enough for the time being to where I can be thankful for it. And, um... Yeah. Uh, I'm, overall, though, I do want to say that I'm really thankful for my friendship with Kuno. Uh, it's not every day you get good souls like that. I'm thankful that he came to the streams... Um, I don't know how many streams Kuno's been to, but I would say he's been to at least two-thirds of them. Uh, towards the latter half, September, it quit showing me everything. Like, I, like if it says that I have more than one viewer, I'm baffled because, like, it's like, wow. Like, I know I've gotten more than one viewer per vid or per stream. It's just it doesn't show for some reason. But anyways, um... Uh, I'm yeah, I'm just overall thankful for the friendship and Kuno's a really nice person. Uh, he puts in what really defines a friend is how much effort you can put into that person and even it doesn't matter how much you put into it as long as you're putting effort into a friend. I think that's all that really matters. There's not a lot of people there's not a lot of people that like to, you know, just start things, right? Um Oh, why did they stop? Anyways, uh, a lot of people don't make plans with other people. Uh, they let the other person do it or whatever. Um, and Kuno at least tries. He, uh, he initiates. He makes contact. And I really appreciate that, man. Because a lot of the time, I'm, I have to be the one to start shit. And uh, I don't think it's really anyone's fault. It's just, I, I think people just need to, um, I guess, get better at it, I guess. That's the only thing I can really think of. But anyways, um, thank you, Kuno, for being in my life. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I hope we can keep this thing going for a long time, dude. Because uh, I, enjoy th I enjoy good things. And, uh, good things like this do not come often. So, uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for everything, man. Stay safe.